Good morning, Internet. Here we are back at Bunny Hall. And I am not in front of the camera because it is early morning and I am in my pajamas and my dressing gown. But I do have my cup of coffee. And we do have the sea. And it's a glorious, windy morning. We finally had a lovely, lovely rain last night. Oh, it was wonderful. It's been about almost five days without rain, and as we haven't any water hooked up properly because of our well situation, the poor plants have been languishing. But look, even my, uh, my funny Indian inkberry is taking the battering winds and the, the hardy, I call them bunny roses now because I, they're planted by bunny and I don't know what type of rugosa they are, but they don't mind the wind or the deer. But yet here it is, a lovely gray morning. It's still fine enough to sit outside and enjoy the rain. I was actually just sitting indoors. In the morning, I try to rise between five and six and I give myself an entire hour to sit and read and drink coffee. It's usually um, anything to do with gardens. Um, I was just finishing another Beverly Nichols book. I love his books, um, even though I've read them before. I'm currently reading some uh, Vita Sac uh, Sacro West uh, diaries because I love her garden in England. So, yes, I just wanted to share this early morning gray sky. Here, let's walk down to the steps. I'm sure it's much windier now, so I can't account for the sound quality. But if you can't hear my voice, just appreciate the wind rustling through the sky and the trees. And you can still see the bush, more bushes needing to be carried to the uh, pool hole. Yes, a day is never complete here in the summer or spring without hacking away at the endlessly growing bushes. For example, as we always talk about my nemesis, the bittersweet, look at her there. See her reaching out her arm, her tenderly arm as if to say, ah yes, stand still for just a moment and I'll gladly wrap about your arms and your legs and topple you over and smother you. I'm sure that's what she wishes we could do because I'm always cutting her children off <laughs> and snapping off her limbs, but not yet. I'll win someday, bittersweet. I think the best solution I'll have for the bittersweet is one day when I get a hedge, perhaps when this hedge is tamed, I would love to tame her into a contorted specific shape along a little wooden fence. Let her go, but then keep trimming and trimming and make her the perfect little shape. Then she'd be not an unwanted guest, but a very well-mannered guest. One in which I'd have to always peep behind the door to make sure she wasn't pocketing the goods or stealing the silver. But there's the gray sky and the wet air. And the rain has stopped, but there's still some moisture. I can see it's hit the lens now. That's troubling. But I just wanted to share this morning, going back to my terrace, the lovely, cool, gray morning. And of course, the luck of living in a private area where one can enjoy the sea and the beach, standing out in their pajamas and dressing gown. All right, back to coffee and reading. Oh, and I'm not sure what's going to be today's video, but I think it may be some uh, montage of the workmen. Today is finally the day, hurrah. Finally today. The workmen come, and after all of our hard work, this black line, this black tubing that we've coiled in the yard and put in the giant dug hole that my husband dug, we finally get to have our well with a new pump and new water, and we can have water pressure, hopefully, like we've never had here before. And the gardens can get watered, and we can get watered. So we'll see how that filming goes. So until later today. I'm back again inside, and as you can see, my coffee and my garden book and in the distance the view 
I'm not sure if you can see it's quite dark. If you go like this, you can see the two chairs and the mermaid statue and the table. And then as you look up through the windows, you can see the gray distant sea. My view, which along here, of course you can't see through the fogged window as well as I can in real life, but along through here, this is my morning view. Enjoying the sea. And it even stretches on this way. So hopefully I will be joining you again with images of the workmen fixing our water, let's hope. Onwards and upwards. Hello again, internet. It's still the same day uh, as I took the footage this morning uh, in my dressing gown. The sky is overcast and the wind is here. Of course, the day we finally get the well people to come and install our water line, it's rain and wind. So we'll see. If it still does happen today, I'm going to get footage. So uh, this video will be mainly probably just workmen doing what we cannot so that we can have water again. So, but yes, windy day here at Bunny Hall. So let's get to the footage. spooky cellar for some footage of the workmen installing our new water tanks. Hurrah! Water is on the way. That is a, um, it's like a biofuel tank. Ah. Okay, I'm going to need you to scoot this way. That's good. So a long day of rain and sun. And now the yard is littered with the detritus of the workmen's hard work. But alas, we have water. But now there's much cleanup to do, including filling in the long tunnel. But for now, let's close with the view and the sun and the sailboat and the reason we do all we do here at Bunny Hall. And until tomorrow, thank you for joining me at Bunny Hall, and I hope you too can make your own life by the sea, even if the sea is thousands of miles away. Cheers! <laughs>